right, what's up gents? So here's the deal, just hit a 480 pound squat. Yeah, the depth was kind of questionable, but if you look at my camera, the way I always have it set up, for some reason it always slants like this, so if you were to kind of crook it out or make it go this way, it actually looks like I kind of hit depth. Again, it might be borderline type of deal like my other one was the other day. Um, but anyways, regardless, I'm not a power lifter, so hey, if you want to critique me and you're some you know, big time power lifter, go for it, man. I don't power lift, um, nor will I ever. I'm not going to pay money for some guy to watch me lift when I already know what I can lift type of deal. Uh, but anyways, doesn't mean I'm not afraid of competition and it, hypothetically someone wanted to challenge me and they say, hey, I'll go pay you to go compete, uh, then sure, by all means down the road. But obviously no one's going to do that right now because I'm not crazy strong. Yeah, I'm strong for a natural dude, but who cares? Um, maybe if I start, you know, pushing numbers in the squat, you know, closer to the 600 mark, then I might be, you know, more legit on that. But again, I don't really train the squat, first of all. And if I do, I do HEG pause. Uh, my main focus is the deadlift, and that's what I want to talk about here. So I'm going to be putting an emphasis on the deadlift coming up here pretty soon. That's going to be my main focus moving forward. I will, however, give the Zercher from the pins one more shot. I'm going to go for that 505. Um, for those of you who don't know, I put it in my description the other day. So I'll, the reason why I was kind of psyching myself up for the 485 the other day, um, it wasn't just because it was 485 and I jumped up 10 pounds. It's because I strained on the 505 beforehand and I basically zapped all my energy. So I had to dig deep for myself to uh, go ahead and pull up the 485. Um, so we're going to put it all on the line, give it one last shot, do or die type of deal mentality. You know, throw yourself in there with the beast, lock the door behind you with the key, throw the key out the window type of deal. It's do or die. Uh, but anyways, if we get it, we get it. If we don't get it, then so be it. We'll move on to, you know, building my conventional deadlift. Be putting a huge emphasis on that. I feel without even really training it right now, I could probably pull 460 for 10 if I'm fresh with it. So we'll see how high we can go and build that up. Um, I think right now I could probably come close to, you know, breaking my old um, personal record on it. Um, but I want, some, I want a big number coming here pretty soon. I'm going to try to build to it. Um, some of you probably know what number I'm shooting for, but I'm going to be shooting for it again. It was what I was building up to the time before, before I set, decided to cut. And then uh, I did 185 for 8 on the OHP. I didn't film it, but I uh, did 185 for 8. Did that before the squat. Um, so that's moving half decently. Um, the OHP bar speed was good on my 232.5. Um, I'm not going to be going super, super heavy with it for about, you know, probably next week and a half, maybe two weeks. Uh, I'm going to be shooting for 250, but that probably won't happen for, you know, at least a solid month, maybe two months or so. We're going to have to put in some work, get more hypertrophy work, and then we'll come back, start hitting it heavy again. And then on bench, threw on uh, 275 uh, and hit it for nine, which, uh, you know, not too bad, not too bad. Um, that was like my first time legitimately benching in a while, so I'll take it, I'll take it. Definitely, I'll take 275 for nine after doing OHP already before. Um, yeah, I short stroked a couple of the first reps and it would touch and go, but I also did long pauses on my last three, so I'm gonna be focusing on the bench moving here forward and then also continue to focus on my OHP though. I'll be throwing a lot more reverse lunges in, uh, more so for hypertrophy. And then we'll eventually build up again. I think if I build up again, I should be in that 350 plus um, ballpark, maybe 365. If my knee can stay healthy, though, that's the whole question. Can my knee stay healthy? Anyways, bros, peace.